Alright, uh, fabricate a okay, I just need some polymer, let's, um, and I need more cemented paste. Alright, um, I was planning on making some battlements, and, and I need more cementing paste. Well, dang it, how do I make cementing paste? Well, what do I need? Chitin and so eight stone? Yo, I need a faster way to get cementing paste. Now, I've discovered, well, not discovered, but... There's a faster way. If you guys need cementing paste too, that's probably why I clicked on this video. Now, I get cementing paste so, so easy. Now, you guys may want to f figure out that way, so I'll tell you guys. But let's just, I'll tell you guys in a sec. But the thing is, a lot of the time people would go to caves to get chitin, and then they would get stone and make cementing paste. However, if you just get a frog, okay, and you kill a bug... Then you get cementing paste, you farm cementing paste, like you get cementing paste for killing it. And it's a really, really efficient way of farming cementing paste because you don't have to make, you don't have to get the stone. And it's very expensive, 8 stone and 4 chitin for 1 paste. Now paste is very, 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 very valuable and it runs out and drains very, very fast. So, like, it's, it's a pretty, um important resource the like the further you go so in this video i'll be teaching a really really easy way to do it now in um caves well actually in most caves not snow caves but in most caves there are bugs and if you kill those bugs then you'll get chitin now you can get cementing paste from killing them well you can get cementing paste and chitin you can get both of them now oh oh, oh, oh this is actually a bit of a problem Yikes, though, do 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 do. Alright, so I'm gonna do a cave run. Let's just quickly kill this, um, this critter. So, let's just quickly go here. Is it still following? Yeah, it's still going. Okay, 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 okay. This is a really easy way to get them stuck. Just. Alright, let's just kill that that fly and I'll show you that you can get paste from it so all right now to tack and boom two cementing paste sometimes you can get 12 sometimes you can get two and sometimes you can even get four now there are different amounts you can get but the you can get a lot of cementing paste from killing one creature now if you double tap with the correct settings if you double tap um well double finger tap on one side of the screen whichever side you chose you can actually do this like um awesome feature with the frog where you can basically like lick really really far well not far but it covers a lot of land in the radius that it has whenever licking and you can kill like three four bugs in one attack which is very very useful now there are bugs in the jungle there are bugs Basically, a really fast way to find bugs, because now your main goal should probably for farming cementing paste is now get your frog and go kill some bugs. Now you may be like, "Oi, shock! Uh, how do you get? How do you find bugs?" Now bugs are in caves. Bugs are in jungles. They're practically everywhere. Now they do spawn in jungles just there. But another really, really, really efficient way for getting bugs is uh, either commit suicide now i would not recommend to commit suicide but that is a technique so what you can do is you can kill a creature and just leave the render distance and when you come back flies should have spawned now this may not happen every time but it does happen a lot of the time so now that we're a bit far away we can just come back and now you can give it like um a minute or two but remember the body does decay in two minutes so, let's just find that dodo. Boom! There's a bug that just spawned. So let's just kill it. And you can get paste. Now, if you do not have a frog and you're like wondering, you're like, oh, shock. How do I get a frog? Where is it? And what do I need? Well, fear not. It's just a simple thing. Knock out, put me in its inventory, get that biotoxin, narcotics, or blackberries. Whatever you use, keep it asleep, 
and it's a simple tame. Now, the Sao Yuan off very, very, um, very low level, only level 40. That's pretty easy to get to. You can do that in literally a day, which is very easy. It doesn't require that much grinding, just a few missions. So, in order to make it, you need being a smithy. Now, to knock it out, what does it eat? Well, it doesn't really eat like Kaiden or like something really complex to get, like beer or anything. It just simply eats meat. It, I don't think it eats fish. I, yeah, I do not think it eats fish, but it eats meat, which is really, really good because meat is the easiest food to obtain that you, that's like a meat. So that's really, really good. Now you can feed a primate to tame it faster. Oh, there's a raptor. I should probably run. So now you saw me kill bugs. You saw me um, do a few things, you know, whatnot, farming, cementing, paste. But now I'm going to solar cave, do a solar cave run in one of the easiest caves, but still solar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. With a bug. Sorry, frog. We're going to kill bugs. Now, if you ask me, this is going to be a tough, but I'm going to do it for you guys. So I'm just going to edit this part out getting there. So I'll see you there when I'm there. Alrighty, well, we are... We're at the cave. Now, I forgot to mention something awesome about the frog. If you are being chased by a Gigasaurus, if you're being chased by a T-Rex, Spino, Raptor, you name it, you can easily get away by, say you're on a mountain, okay, because that's normally where the big, uh, the big boys spawn. You can jump and regain stamina while jumping. Now, you may be like, yo, bro, I'm not really seeing my stamina go up. Yeah, not because once you land all the stamina will go off so it's pretty good because he can easily get away and he can cover land really really fast so i i'm gonna solo tame this cave now this is very very scary because if there's one snake i'm gonna have to chicken out and just quickly kill the snake because oh, oh, okay so there's a spider here I'm gonna kill the spider now oh wait that, that's a beetle Beetles actually aren't really that common of a spawn. Just keep on spamming the attack. Oh, oh no. Did we get any cementing paste? Oh no, we did not. Okay. Um, I don't know if, um, I don't know how long the frog can last. Yo, this is actually kind of scary. I've never done a cave one with, uh, Oh, well, good. He's actually kind of, kind of scary. Now, I'm just gonna spam this attack. Whoa, 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 what was that? Alright, I'm just gonna continue spamming here. You know, kill these creatures. And we should get some mental paste. Uh, any mental paste? No, no cementing paste. Oh, scorpions don't count as. Oh, it's funny, okay. Quick. Okay, cool. Now we can advance into the cave. Let's just quickly grab some stamina. So cool. Okay, so now that we have a bit more stamina, now we're not gonna run it. We're just gonna walk it. You know, just because it's it's not the it's not the easiest cave out there. It, it, it's pretty easy, not gonna lie, but it's not the easiest. Okay, get out of here, bro. This is, um, I'm gonna go here. Okay. Oh no, bats! Bats are still so annoying to deal with. Especially with a frog. Like, you would assume that frogs, you know, they just gobble up flies, they go gobble up creatures like that. But a bat? Nah, man. This Oh, this is gonna take time. Um, let's just go in a tight area and just use the frog's attack that I was talking about before. Alright, so now I'm gonna use the other one, the other attack. Where like basically, he basically it's pretty simple. He just gets his tongue out and basically just increases torpidity on the opponents. Uh. Alright, so the bat is down. There we go. Finally, the bat's down. Um. Another spider, which is kind of a problem, but you know. Let's just 
use the other attack. Whenever there's one creature and you've got good aim, just use the original attack. Alright, so unfortunately our Change of plans, that's actually a big problem, yeah. So, caves isn't really the frog's thing, like, uh, flies do spawn there, but there's more bats and scorpions, which is kind of a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, I'm gone. Bro, okay. You know what, let's just, we'll go into the jungle, because the jungle is actually... And I'm going the wrong way. The jungle, it does have uh, flies and like spiders. Now, flies and spiders, the tiny spiders. Oh, this is actually so hard to solo get. Okay, I would never recommend this. Solo caving a frog? Nah. Unless it's like level 100 or level 200. I would recommend it then, but it's kind of an issue. I okay. The thing is, it, it's it's an easy technique. You just kill a creature, don't farm it, just kill the creature, and then there will be flies will spawn. Now, nothing's really rendering, so let's just kill this uh this lystra here. Boom. Okay, so there now. It's where, where does corpse go? Okay, um... Interesting. So, let's go kill another creature. Now, if you don't want to do this process, because you may not want to do it because you've got to kill the creature and wait for flies to spawn in, that's fine. Just, you can kill yourself, or another technique is just going to the jungle. Because the jungle has flies that are always in the jungle, just being themselves, which flies can be very, 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 and when I say very, I mean very annoying. Like, sometimes they can really annoy you because there's these tiny little things decreasing your stamina. Now, when I say decreasing your stamina, I literally mean it. When they bite you, they literally inject poison that decreases your stamina, and that can be very annoying. So, it's very easy to kill them. You just need to use the attack that I taught you guys. So, let's just... Um, yeah, let's go into the jungle. Now, something awesome about it that I mentioned before, but I didn't really show it, is the jumping. Look how big the jump is! Like, I'm literally, I'm almost infinitely going. Because I jump, well, I use stamina, I find a good time to jump, and then I regain the stamina, so I'm just constantly moving. And that's basically just, like, an untamed creature, in a nutshell. It's basically just, it just keep on... It just, it can keep on going and it never stops following you if it's the right speed. Like, it just keeps on going. So, it's very, very cool to have that certain freedom. Kind of like the, um, oh, wait, wait, spider, 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 spider. We've got a spider. Oh, two spiders. Alright, so let's just do that. And what do we get? How much semantic paste? Okay, so we got a bit, which I originally did have some. And also, uh, another thing is, you get a lot of these husks. I don't know why, but you do. You get, like, a ton of them. Alright. So, let's just... Empty this. So, let's just take all the meat. Take that hide. And drop everything else. So, drop all items. Alright, so... There's a bit of meat. Now, if you have meat, it, it just simply eats meat. It's not like it eats some special um food that's annoying to get it, it's pretty simple uh feeding wise now where do you want to find it okay swamp just go in the swamp and you're all good okay the swamp however the swamp i would not recommend if you're a beginner if this is your first world playing and you've never really played arc before i don't recommend going to the swamp and if you do, you're so desperate. Now, you need cementing paste because you're advancing really fast and you're so desperate. Fine, whatever. But research. Okay, research every single creature that is into the swamp. Such as the baryonyx, the snake, the sarkaro, the baby sarkaro, the... All the other creatures that are in the swamp. 
Research them all so you can learn their weaknesses and what they do, and then you can use that against them. Because the swamp, I personally, this is my opinion, now you may disagree, but personally in my eyes, the swamp is the most dangerous area. Now why? Okay, so for starters, in the redwoods, a lot of the creatures, like, they're not the biggest threat out there. Like a T-Rex, yeah, it's quite a threat, but you barely even see any T-Rexes in the um in the redwoods now you can see anklos and doodicosauruses those are also in the redwoods which they're not wild there's a decent amount of other creatures in the redwoods that aren't really that wild now of course yeah there are a lot and i mean a lot of argues there are some other creatures but the thing is i just prefer saying that the uh swamp is more dangerous because it has a snake. A snake is a two bite to a human to knock them out. Once they're knocked out, all they're going to do is just get more torpor, more, and perish slowly. Which kind of sucks, but that's how it goes with snakes. You get bit, bitten twice, and you're gone. Now, another thing are frogs. Frogs increase the torpidity. Sarcros are just, they are aggressive. They just go. If they see you from a mile away, they will not hesitate. They will just go after you. Now, baryonyxes, they are so annoying to tame because... The torpor of the fellas, they are so, and I mean so good, almost, well, actually better than the Allosaurus, which I would probably say in my eyes, the Baryonyx is the king of caves, because the torpor, it has barely any torpor, and the, the HP that it has is amazing, it does okay damage, and also can fit in a lot of tight squeezes, which is always nice, because no one really likes uh, creatures like say Allosaurus, say that's your favorite dinosaur pet that you have and you want to use it into a cave but you can't because there's not enough room for it to fit in because the caves have a tight entrance well the baryonyx is quite a solution so the baryonyx is kind of aggressive it's not the most aggressive thing as much as sarcros but they're pretty annoying so that's why i think that the swamp is very very dangerous and also another thing that makes the swamp way more dangerous in my eyes than the than the redwoods is because the swamp you can't even see that far like unless you're underwater which suckers are you can't even see that far like the furthest you can see is probably like two trees away but the thing is it's very very um compacted like there are so many trees so many like there's always algae and all this stuff blocking the water so you can't even see what's in the water like it's a big thing that's why I think that the swamp is way more dangerous and way more scary in mice than the redwoods. Honestly, dude, going inside of the redwoods, it's just a walk at a park, dude. It's it's pretty simple. I mean, yeah, you may come across some, like, a saber tooth there or a terror bird here and there. It's sometimes raptors and carnos, but those are easy to deal with. You just have a shotgun, deal damage easily, and you're all good. But... On the other hand, the, uh, the swamp snakes are so annoying because they have such a small hitbox. Like, they're basically just like a, a huge worm that has a tiny hitbox. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. You have to point down and sometimes all of your shells, sometimes you would be right in front of the uh, snake, but all of your shells weren't hit because it's just this little tube. Like, it's kind of threatening. And then there are leeches. Now, leeches. Okay, leeches are kind of annoying. Because when they go on you, they basically just suck your blood until you die. Now, if you want to get it removed, you literally have to go right next to a campfire, light the campfire, and then the leech is gone. Now, that's like how to take away leeches, but sometimes they can be useful because they drop leech blood and you can use leech blood for fishing. Don't ask me why, but that's just how it goes. But the redwoods, on the other hand, like terror birds, terror birds are extremely fast, do really, really good damage, but have barely an HP, and as a pet, they're quite a crappy pit, pet, because it's basically just a land pteranodon. It can't fit much, but it can go fast, but a pteranodon, on the other hand, can fly, so, and also pick up things. So, honestly, I, I think the redwoods is just pretty, pretty simple. So, we're going to go into the... 
uh, the jungle, which is just there. And basically, we're just gonna kill some creatures. Well, actually, flies and like bugs. Like, what's going on here? Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill some bugs. Now, they're pretty easy to find, they're basically just everywhere inside of the jungle. Now, you can get cementing paste very, very easy because. You need 8 stone per cementing paste, and the max I've ever seen getting cementing paste per creature is 12 cementing paste. Now 12 cementing paste is actually a good amount, because that means with that you can make 6 polyamar, now you do need obsidian. But you can progress really really fast by just killing a gang of uh, critters or bugs, whatever you like to call them. Now, you can kill flies, you can kill dragonflies, you can kill spiders. Now. There are a few more creatures, just I'm not quite aware of which rich creatures there are that you can get cementing paste from. Now, another cementing paste um, technique I would not suggest, but you can do is beavers. Now, you have you ever seen a beaver dam? Because a beaver dam is basically like um, just a tiny little hut that beavers make, and sometimes there'll be cementing paste inside of them. Now, I wouldn't recommend making a beaver dam farm. Basically, you just need to get a bunch of wild beavers, don't tame them, you just need to make, get a bunch of wild beavers and put them into... Just put them into a pen, and they'll start making it. They'll start making beaver dams. Now, the problem with beaver dams is people can easily steal them. If it's a solo server, that's a different story. But if it's a... Like, because it's all wild... Sorry, because it's not tamed, you can easily just take it like people can easily just steal them which is very frustrating if you were to finally get a beaver because these fellas are common ish but they're a lot of the time they're only in the swamp so well at the edge of the swamp and the thing is if you take it get all the way home and then you finally drop it off and there's someone and they realize that someone just takes it it's a, it can be very very frustrating that's why i wouldn't suggest it but a, a frog now the frog's name in game is a bees and buffalo. Do not know why, but that's what it's called. Um, so let's just try and find a fly here or a bug. Now, they're pretty easy to kill. Bugs have barely any HP, which is actually a really, 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 really handy thing. Oh, and there's a, there's a few bugs. So let's just kill them and we'll see how much cementing paste we've gotten quite fast. So in like... A bit of time farming. We got 12 cementing paste. For killing three creatures, we got 12. Now, at the end of the day, you can get 36 because each one can give you 12 at the maximum of what I've seen. So, the max that I know that you can get for killing three uh, is 36 cementing paste. Now, that's, if you ask me, is really, really good because you need once, because you need eight stone and four chitin. That's two different resources that you need to make it. Or you can just get a bees and buffalo and just kill. Anyways, well, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to quickly farm cementing paste. Now, just a quick recap. Get a frog from the swamp, get a saddle, and kill bugs. It's that simple, and you can get easy cementing paste. Now, if, you're, if you are going to be a fighter and you're going to be using him to get cementing paste, I would either suggest to do stamina or, well, actually damage or health. Because the thing is, I just have stamina, he, can, he almost has infinite stamina. So upgrade a little bit on stamina, but not too much. Now, if you do want to make him to be like a traveler, do wait, but I wouldn't suggest it personally me. I would suggest health so he can stay alive, because he is quite squishy, um, currently how he is. Anyways, well, 